A shade garden wouldn't be complete without one of my favorite bulbs, Monk's Hood, also known as Aconitum, or they call them Wolfbane, because back in the medieval times, they have this huge, long history. So every part of the plant is poisonous, but there's really no problems with people or animals eating them out in the garden. I've never heard of that. But you plant them, just they just look like a little dead mouse. In fact, one of them was sitting on the floor at a garden show, and a lady freaked out thinking it was actually a dead mouse. But it's not. It's a bulb. And you plant it with the little eye side up, about three, four inches deep. And they come up with this gorgeous purple foliage in the summer and the big purple leaves and foliage in the, in the fall. So they're a fall bloomer. They look like a delphinium. And they're just a gorgeous plant. And I love how they, they open like a dark blue. And then they last for almost two months as a flower in the garden. And they fade to almost a soft purple in the end. Great cut flower and a great flower in the garden. They multiply really quickly and they can live right in a bog, right in a boggy area where everything else is riding out. Put some monkshood in there and they will thrive. They're native to northern England where they grow in the moors, so they love lots of moisture. And we grow them in the shade, but they're another plant that I've put in full hot sun in the northwest and they've thrived. They'll grow almost anywhere as long as they're watered well in the summer. Next, we'll talk about semi fugas.